Today we will solve this simple numerical. We will prove that the system of three charges will be in equilibrium if the middle charge Q is equal to minus Q divided by 4. This is problem number 2.3 from the electrostatic chapter. Let's solve the numerical. A charge Q is placed at the center of the line joining the two charges, each of magnitude Q. Prove that the system of three charges will be in equilibrium if Q is equal to minus Q divided by 4. We have this system and two charges. This is Q and this is also Q because both have same magnitude. Now this is the line joining these two charges. If we place this small charge Q at the center of the line then it is stated that this system will be in equilibrium if this charge is equal to minus Q divided by 4. Now we will prove that this Q, this small Q or this small charge is equal to minus Q by 4. Now let's consider this system is in equilibrium. We know that the system will be in equilibrium if the net force on each charge will be equal to 0. The force is acting on this charge equal to 0. Similarly, the force is acting on this charge equal to 0 and the force is acting on this charge equal to 0. If the sum of all the forces acting on the charge are equal to 0, then the system is considered in the state of equilibrium. We need this system to be in equilibrium and we will prove this small Q charge is equal to minus Q by 4. Now let's consider the sum of all the forces acting on this charge Q. Two forces are acting on this charge Q. One is the force due to this small charge and the second is the force due to this capital charge. One is denoted by F1 and the second one is denoted by F2. Now F1 is due to this small charge, so F1 is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q, this capital Q charge 1 and this small Q charge 2 divided by L square. L is actually the distance of separation between this capital charge Q and this small charge Q. Now the second force acting on this charge Q will be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q, this Q and this Q. Q, Q divided by 2L. This time the length we know if this length is L, then we know this is also L. So we have L plus L, the total length is equal to 2L and 2L whole square. This is actually Coulomb's law. We know Coulomb's law at F is equal to KQ1, Q2 divided by R square. Now we have this system and we know this system is in equilibrium. So the force F1 plus F2 will be equal to 0. So the all force, all the forces acting on this charge will be equal to 0. Now shifting this term to the right side of the equation, we will get 1 over 4 by epsilon naught capital Q small charge divided by L square is equal to minus 1 over 4 by epsilon naught Q Q divided by 2 L whole square. This time this 1 over 4 by epsilon naught will cancel out with this 1 over 4 by epsilon naught. And this Q will cancel out with this Q. So we will have Q by L square is equal to minus Q divided by 4 L square. Now this time this L square will cancel out with this L square. This 4 is due to you know 2 L whole square. So 2 multiply 2 is equal to 4 and L whole square. This L square will cancel with this L square and we will have small charge Q is equal to minus Q divided by 4. So this is so the system will be in equilibrium if this Q charge is equal to minus Q divided by 4. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, comment your questions.